Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to use V-Ray Fur. So, V-Ray Fur is a very simple procedural fur plugin that is commonly used for simulating grass cover or textile fibers. The fur is generated only during render time and it's not actually present in the scene, thus making the viewport faster. So this is our scene and first thing I want to do is uh, change our workspace a bit so that it'll be easier for you to follow what's happening. Let's open the V-Ray Asset Editor, let's enable real-time interactive rendering, and let's do a test render. Okay, now, first important thing to remember is that you cannot apply V-Ray Fur to loose geometry, but only groups or components, and you can do it in two ways selecting the group or component and clicking on the fur icon right here or from the asset editor go to geometry tab fur right click and choose apply to selection after creating a v-ray fur object a bounding box with a v-ray fur icon will appear in the viewport around the selected group or component and in the render preview you'll see the fur geometry with its default settings by applying a material to the group or component, the fur object will absorb the applied material and use the applied material for the fur. But if you want, you can change the fur material right here. Check this box and select the material you want. So let's see what kind of parameters can we control when creating our fur. Distribution per face means that every face will generate a specific number of fur strands. And distribution per area means that the number of strands is based on the size of that face. Smaller faces have fewer strands, larger faces have more strands. And this one is probably the one you'll use most of the time. Count controls the density of your strands. Here you can also add a density map that works as a multiplier for the strand density. So, if we apply this simple black and white map, Black portions of the map correspond to zero density, effectively no fur is generated in these areas, while white represent the normal strand density as specified by the distribution parameter. And more or less gray areas would represent something in between. The darker they get, the less fur you'll have in those areas. Length controls the length of the strands. Thickness controls the thickness of the strands. Increasing the value of taper will make each strand thinner at its upper end and wider at its base. Gravity controls the force that pulls first strands down along the z-direction. The band value controls the elasticity of the first strands. Set to zero, all strands will be stiff and straight. Greater values cause the strands to bend under the influence of the gravity parameter. Global scale controls the scale of the fur in the scene. Knots value controls the number of connected straight segments the fur strands are rendered in. Now the variance. The direction, length, thickness and gravity parameters in this rollout add variation to their corresponding parameters from the parameters rollout. Values range from 0, which means no variations at all, to 1.0, that is maximum variation. Curl, when enabled, adds curls to the fur. Curl radius specifies the radius of an individual curl. Curl radius variations allows you to add variation to the curl radius of the first strands. Number of curls specifies the number of curls on the strand. And curl map is a multiplier for the strand curl. Black portions of the map correspond to no curl, and white represent the set curl specified by distribution parameters. Next, we've got level of detail. When enabled, V-Ray will generate less fur geometry for parts of the scene that are far away from the camera. This is done by decreasing the density of the fur strands and increasing their thickness. Then we've got material, but I already showed you how it works, and that leaves us with gravity directions. Gravity directions lets you manually specify the gravity vector and change its direction from default z-axis to x or y-axis. And that is all I have to show you. If you found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, I kindly ask you to hit that like button. 
takes just a second of your time, but it means a lot to this channel. So thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.